Hello and welcome to High Ground Gaming. This is Eric, my co-host Brody there. Um, we were talking this morning and deciding what video we were going to do and uh, we figured we haven't done a 1905 Dead Ball game in a while. We normally do it on Sunday afternoons, but we were busy doing an Ice Nuts Dice Hockey, learning a new game there. So check that out if you haven't already. Um, but today we're going to play another game from the Dead Ball era. And the New York Giants here are currently on a 15 game winning streak. And they're playing, let's see here, they're still playing the uh, I think they're starting a new series here against the uh, the Chicago Cubs. It looks like, yeah, it looks like they're starting a new series against the Cubs. So let's check and see and make sure we get all our photos and everything for the Cubs here. Did not check that. I'll be right back. Just gonna check that out first. Yeah, actually, we do have all our photos in line, so that's cool. So we're gonna get the game underway here. Here it is. For some reason it didn't mark. Make sure that's the Giants. No, those are the Yankees. We don't want them. Uh, where is it? Alright, here we go. Yeah, it is marked. Okay. Let me make sure. We're not going to play Detroit yet, as Detroit does not have. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on here. <laughs> Sorry about that. As Detroit does not have uh, Ty Cobb up there yet. So, let's get through and play all these games out. We're going to be at home against the... Actually, no. We're not facing the Cubs yet. That's the White Sox that was playing that one. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a little while since we played, so bear with us. Anyway, we still have another game against the Cardinals, I guess. The Cardinals are currently on a losing streak themselves. I believe there are like eight games, or, but it'll show it in a second. Welcome to Polo Grounds for today's game between St. Louis and New York. St. Louis has lost 10 straight, and 10 of their last 10. Has won 18 straight and 10 of their last 10. Buster Brown takes the mound for St. Louis. He's made five starts on the year and is one and four with an earned run average of 4.30. His first start against New York. He'll be opposed by Hooks Wilts for New York. He's made three starts on the year and is two and zero with an earned run average of 2.08. His first start against St. Louis. It's 72 degrees. Pitching for New York, Hooks, Wilts. Leading off for St. Louis, center fielder. Alrighty, so that, those are your lineups there. So as you can see, St. Louis Cardinals are on a 10 game losing streak and we are on a 15 game winning streak. So hopefully we can continue both those streaks today. Alright, I gotta find Mr. Brody here as he's not on my screen. Alright, there we go. We have found Mr. Brody there. You ready, Mr. Brody, to play a game here? He's ready. He's raring to go. <laughs> so, alright. So, it's gonna be Hooks Wilts. A left hander for the New York Giants. He's got a record, as the computer said, he's got a record of 2 0. The 2.0 ERA, 26 innings pitched, 22 hits allowed. It's not a lot of home run yet. Four walks and 18 strikeouts, and opponents are hitting 224 against them. So it's off to a good start. So the lineup for the visiting St. Louis Cardinals are Homer Smoot, the center fielder. He'll lead it off. Spike Shannon, the left fielder, will bat second. Mike Grady is the catcher batting third. Batting cleanup is 
Jake Beckley, first baseman, the veteran, the Hall of Famer. So Danny Shea, the second baseman, will bat. Actually, the shortstop today will bat fifth. He's also a second baseman. Harry Arndt is the second baseman today, batting sixth. Batting second, seventh will be Dave Brain. He's the right fielder today. Batting eighth will be Jimmy Burke, third baseman. And on the mound, batting ninth is Buster Brown, the shoe guy. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> interesting name there. So as you can see, the uh, St. Louis lineup is a little different uh, than it was in the last game. I believe it was anyway, from what I remember. So Hooks will see on the mound. He'll deliver the first pitch to Bresnahan, and we'll be off. Here we go. Ready, Mr. Brody? He's ready. So it's a strikeout. So good start for the Giants here. Spike Shannon up now. He's hitting 271 with nine runs batted in, a double, a triple. Nine runs scored, 10 stolen bases, so he's a threat to steal if he gets on. On base percentage of three point of 346. So I didn't mention uh, Smoot there, but he was hitting 206 with seven runs batted in and three stolen bases. So Shannon steps up to the box. Wilty looks in for the sign from Bresnahan. He has to wind up and the pitch. And he'll continue his he get a single here. So he's a threat to steal. So we got to keep an eye on him. Get down to 30%. We like that. All right, next up will be the catcher, Mike Grady, hitting 226 with six runs batted in, four runs scored, two doubles, two triples, and one stolen base. Ball one low. And it's going to be a single up the middle. First baseman. So runners on first and second with the one down for Jake Beckley, hitting 282 with eight runs batted in, nine runs scored, four doubles, three triples, and a couple stolen bases. We have an early score here, Washington Cleveland, a scoreless in the first. Ball one, down and in. Count evens at one, swing and a miss. Two and one the count. Count evens at two. It's going to be a foul ball. It's going to go out of play down the first baseline as McGann gives chase. It's in the stands though. And it's ground ball to second. Over to first. Short stop. Runners, runners move up. Shannon to third and Grady to second. So two outs, runners on second and third for Shea. Shea, the shortstop today, is hitting just 132 in 53 at-bats. Six runs batted in, seven runs scored, three stolen bases, and one double. Strike one, swing and a miss. Looks he looks into the sign from Bresnahan. Here's the wind-up in the pitch. It's going to be a roller to short. No runs. Two hits. No errors. After one half inning, St. Louis zero. New York coming to bat. Pitching for St. Louis, Buster Brown. Leading off for New York, center fielder, Mike Donlin. Alrighty, so the Cardinals do not score, despite getting a couple runners in scoring position. So Buster Brown is on the mound. Going to record a one and four with a 4.30 ERA. He's pitched 44 innings, allowed 45 hits, two homers allowed, 24 walks, and wow, 24 walks and only four Ks. So definitely uh, not good numbers there. He's walked a lot of batters. Opponents are hitting 271 off of him. 
That's too good, huh, Mr. Broad? Mr. Brody repositions himself in his co-host seat. So the lineup for your New York Giants is pretty standard. Mike Donlin, the center fielder, will bat first. George Brown is the right fielder, batting second. Bresnahan, the catcher, will bat third. Dan McGann, the first baseman, bats cleanup. Sam Mertes is the left fielder, batting fifth. Art Devlin, the third baseman, will bat sixth. The shortstop, Bill Dolan, will bat sev seventh. Billy Gilbert, your second baseman, will bat eighth. And on the mound, batting ninth, is Hooks Wiltsey. How can you forget that name? So, all right, so Mike Donlin comes into the game hitting a solid 376. A homer and 15 runs batted in. 24 runs scored. Three stolen bases, four doubles, four triples. An on base percentage of a whopping 438. So, he's definitely been a catalyst to the great start of the Giants. So Brown looks in the sign from Grady. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Be a fly ball to oh it's gonna go off the wall that carried more than I thought it would and Donlin's gonna be on with a leadoff double so a good start for the Giants George Brown up now hitting 306 with a homer and 18 runs batted in that doesn't have any doubles but has four triples 14 runs scored a couple stolen bases see if he can get that run home Get his 44, uh, 19th RBI. Ball one. Two and oh the count. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Count evens at two. Full count now. And now the score is uh, the White Sox and the. Oh boy. Pilgrims. Is it Pilgrims? <laughs> Forget that again. Uh, Americans, Boston Americans, are tied scoreless in the first. He's going to pop one up behind the plate. Looks like he's got Grady's going to have a play on this one. And nope, it goes out of play. So we'll do it again. Three and full count. And it's a fly ball to center. And we have a chance to tag on this one. We are. We are not going to end that one. Catcher, As Roger, Smoot will make the catch. I'm not going to test his arm there. He's an arm of six. So we only had a little over like a 60% chance. So we're not going to... 65 I think it was exactly. But we're not going to test that. That's only the first out of the inning. So Bresnahan up now. He's hitting 388. So... With 11 runs batted in, 21 runs scored, 4 doubles, 2 triples, and a 527 on base percentage. So he's been on base over half the time he's been up. Count evens at 1. Pittsburgh and Philadelphia are scoreless in the first. And this is going to drop in there behind the third baseman. And I think we're going to try it, try to get that early run on the board. Not gonna send Bresnahan out. No. Oh, and he's gonna be out going home. <laughs> so Donlin tries to get that early. Donlin tries to score that early run and gets thrown out of the plate by Shannon. He only had an arm strength of three, so that's kind of why I tried it too. But oh well. So two down now for McGann. He's hitting 315 with 26 runs batted in. So he's been an RBI machine so far. 12 runs scored, 4 stolen bases, 3 doubles, and 5 triples. An on-base percentage of 435. See if we can get a little 2-out rally going after Donovan was thrown out. And no. No runs, 2 hits, no errors. After 1 complete, St. Louis 0, New York 0. Second baseman. 
hard. So Donlin gets thrown out at the plate by Shannon, and we remain scoreless after one. So here we are, 225 hitter, seven runs batted in, nine runs scored, two doubles, no triples, and two stolen bases. Oh, one to center. Right fielder. Donlin will range over and make the catch. Pull one down. Dave Brain, 262 hitter. Six runs batted in. Five runs scored. And has a stolen base. And he'll draw a one out walk. Third baseman, Jimmy Bird. Only 28% chance to seal, so we're not going to throw over quite yet. So Jimmy Burke, the third baseman up now, 241 hitter, 10 runs batted in, 6 runs scored, 4 doubles, and a stolen base. Gonna hit this one the center, Donlin has it sized up, and he'll make the catch. Goes into Gilbert. Brown. So the Bean Eaters, oh sorry, actually that's the uh, Boston Americans, the other one was the Bean Eaters. I mean the, uh, the Americans. These are the Boston uh, Americans, tied with Detroit Tigers, scoreless in the third. We'll go over the scores at the end of the third inning. And that's a foul ball out of play down the left field line. So the pitcher Brown is a 125 hitter, two hits and 16 at bats. Evens at one. Two and one the count. Count evens at two. It's gonna be a fly ball to center. Donlin doesn't even have to move. He'll make the catch to end the inning. St. Louis zero, New York zero. Left fielder, Sam Mirdes. Alright, the Naps lead the Senators two to nothing now in the second. Sam Merte is up now, 242 hitter with a homer and 9 runs batted in, 15 runs scored, 4 doubles, 2 triples, and 5 stolen bases. Oh, and he gets plunked there, that one gets away from Brown. Devlin. So a leadoff base runner on for the Giants, Art Devlin up now, 263 hitter with 15 runs batted in, 15 runs scored. Two doubles, two triples, and two stolen bases. At the belt, strike one. And it's a pitch out, but Mertes wasn't going anywhere. We might try to run now. Yeah, we're going to try to steal now. 86% chance there. And he's off with the pitch. And the throw goes into center field. Grady throws it away. Mertes will move up to third so he gets a stolen base and advances the third on a throwing error by Grady. And there's the other score. There's the Bean Eaters and the Cubs. Scoreless in the second. So a runner on third with nobody out. Devlin count on Devlin is one and two. And he's going to get an RBI as. Stop. The brain is not too smart on that play. <laughs> and Devlin will get himself an RBI single. And it's a 1-0 Giants lead. So Bill Dial in the shortstop up now. 242 hitter. Homer and 21 runs batted in. So getting good production out of that lower end of the lineup there. 17 runs scored. Two doubles, three triples, and a couple stolen bases. 349 on base percentage. So Devlin, ooh, he's got a 93% chance here. I think we're going to try to steal with him. He's off for the pitch. And he's safe. So Devlin's in there. With a stolen base. So the Giants are running early here in the game. So Dowling has an 0-1 count on him, and it's a ball one. 
and he'll get one drop in behind second base bag. And we're not gonna we're gonna hold Devlin with nobody out. So runners at the corner. Second baseman. Thought he was gonna take another bag there, Dowlin. Rounded that one, that bag uh, a little bit too much for my liking. So runners at the corners now. Nobody out. Billy Gilbert, the second baseman, 250 hitter, six runs batted in, nine runs scored, eight, uh, 18 hits out of 72 at bats, and three doubles. Ball one, high and outside. It's gonna be a fly ball to center. He ranges to his left, makes the catch, and pitcher looks, wills. Devlin will tag up and score. So a 2 nothing lead now for the Giants. As uh, Gilbert gets an RBI sack fly there. Well, sack fly by today's standards. So dialing up now. I mean, uh, we'll see the pitcher. One down, let's see here, what's he hitting? Wiltsy comes in hitting a, ooh, he's hitting 467 and 15 at bat, seven hits and 15 at bat, so we're not gonna, we're gonna have him hit away. Three runs batted and also on race percentage of 467. So one and one the count, two and one the count, and it's gonna be another base hit, so Wiltsy is helping his own cause so far this season. That should increase his average to almost 500 now. Actually, well, 500 exactly. No. So runners on first and second now with one out for Donlin. Donlin singled his first time up but was thrown out trying to trying to come home. Actually, a double. He doubled his first time up. The so runners on first and second and one down. Cleveland now has a 3 0 lead over Washington in the second. It's the pitch to Donlin, and it's going to be a hit to the third baseman over to second for one, back to first, and they turn two. Two runs, three hits, one error. After two complete, St. Louis 0, New York 2. But the Giants take a 2 0 lead now after two. Brings up the top of the lineup with Smoot. He's 0 for 1 today. And he'll line one to, ooh! The line it to Darwin. He goes up and makes a great leaping catch there. Definitely a web gem there. Great defense by Darwin, as we've come to expect. Shannon up now. Gun down Donlin trying to score the first run for the Giants back in the first. singled his first time up. Spike Shannon. And he'll strike him out. We'll see for the second strikeout of the game. Brings up Grady. Singled his first time up. He's going to pop one up the short. Dallin's going to race under it and make the catch. After two and a half. St. Louis 0, New York 2. So after two and a half, the Cardinals trail by two. So it's going to be Brown, Bresnahan, and McGann for the Giants here in the third. Brown's 0 for 1. And he'll pop one up. First baseman. Beckley will make the catch for out number one. Cincinnati is on top of Brooklyn. 4 to nothing in the second. So Bresnahan up now. Singled his first time up. He strikes out this time. So first strikeout of the day for Buster Brown. Brings up McGann 0 for 1. And he'll have one to center. And that'll do it. After 3, St. Louis 0, New York 2. Alright, so score remains 2 0 Giants. Let's check the other scores. Detroit Tigers lead the Americans in the bottom of the fifth by a score of 1-0. The 
Winter 3-0 goes up against Killian for Detroit, 5-1. Cleveland leads Washington, 5-0. Wolf for Washington, 0-3. And, and Addy Joss for Cleveland, 4-2. And Pittsburgh and Philadelphia scrolls in the top of the fourth. Case for Pittsburgh, 1-3, goes up against Sparks, 4-1. Cincinnati blanking Brooklyn 4 0 as we just said. Check 3 2. Goes up against Jones 0 3. And another National League action. Chicago and Boston are scoreless in the bottom of the second. Wicker 4 1 going up against Frazier 2 2. Those are your out of town scores. So Beckley will lead it off for the Cardinals here in the top of the fourth. He's 0 for 1. We'll draw a leadoff walk. Brings up Shea, 0 for 1. Ball 1. I'm going to try to pick up just to keep him honest. That actually went up. 2-0 <laughs> the count. Good hitter's count for Shea. And he'll... Oh, a great play by the first baseman, McGann. Again, is the man on that one. As he gets one going down the line for extra bases and is able to stick out a glove and get that one diving play. And was able to just tap his glove on the bag after he made that diving stop. Had to go across his body for that one. He's able to make the, make the play. So Beckley will move up to second on the play. So, all right, dump now, 0 for 1. Ball 1 inside. Count evens at 1. And it's going to be a base hit to, ooh, it looks like Donlin's going to have trouble with that one. So it'll be a single, RB, a single. And Arndt will move up to second on that play, on the error by Donlin. And I believe that is going to be a, let's check the box score real quick. I think he was going to score, so that but we'll see if that's a RBI. Nope, it's an error because he wouldn't have scored on that one, so the run will score because of the error on Donald. So no RBI for Arndt, at least not right away. We'll see if the official scores change that. So the brain is up now. One out and a runner in scoring position. Now a two to one game. Ball one high and tight. And it's gonna, oh, wow. And Gilbert there, instead of going for the easy out, sees an opportunity and gets the runner aren't going to third. So a alert play by Gilbert. I've never seen one of those before. Sees opportunity to risky play there. Runner in third is cut down. So, brain reaches on the fielder's choice, and Gilbert was definitely using his brain there, his baseball smarts. So, runner on first now with two down for Burke, who's 0 for 1. Strike one. And he's off with the pitch, and that's going to go into center field as Bresnahan throws it away, too. So, that'd be an error on Bresnahan. Ray will move to third. Count one and one on Burke. Two and one. Count evens at two. Full count now. And he'll draw a walk, so runners at the corners. For Brown, who's 0 for 1. Pitcher Brown. Cleveland leads the Washington 5 0 in the third. Okay, 1 0 the count on the pitcher. Count evens at 1. And it's going to be a fly ball to right. Brown should have it. One run, one hit, two errors. After three and a half, St. Louis 1, New York 2. It's a 2 1 lead now for the Giants. Let's check the. Yep, and that is an unearned run. Actually, it's not a... Yeah, it is. No. 
For some reason they gave that an earned run on Wiltsy, but that should be an unearned run. They didn't, they didn't give him an RBI either on that one, so. Interesting. See if they fix that later on. All right, so Sam Mertes leads it off for the Giants here in the bottom of the fourth. Now only a one-run lead for the Giants. And he'll that one to left. Shannon will make the catch for out number one. Devlin up now. Singled his first time up. Had himself an RBI in the day. And it's going to be a grounder to second. Arntz up with it. Over to Beckley for out number two. Bill Dow on the shortstop up now. He's one for one. He'll hit a fly ball to center. No runs. And that'll do it. No errors. We played four complete. St. Louis one. New York two. So, after four full, it's a 2-1 giant lead. Smoot will lead it off for the Cardinals here in the fifth. He's 0 for 2. And make that 1 for 3 as we get drops one in behind the first baseman again. So that brings up Shannon, and we're going to throw over. 22%, so that was worth it. He's not taking as big a lead now. Shannon, 1 for 2 on the day. It's going to be a bunt, and he'll throw over to first. So a sack price for Shannon there. That'll move the tying run in scoring position. That'll bring up Grady, who's one for two on the day. Swing and a miss, strike one. You know, popping up behind the plate. Looks like Resnan's gonna have a play in this one. And he will, he'll make the catch for out number one. Cincinnati leads Brooklyn, five nothing in the fourth. Grady and Smoot, I forgot about Smoot there at third. Oh, he dropped it. Wow. So apparently, it was in fair territory. It ended up, looked like it was behind the plate, but I guess it's in fair territory. And Grady's going to advance the second, smooth to third. So a big error by Bresnahan there. Wow. Second error of the day. Giants now have three errors. And it's second and third now. Wow. That could prove costly. Boy, let's see what we're going to do here. So the Giants not having great defense this game. Let's see. We're going to bring the infield in. Okay, bring the infield in. And cut off that run at home. So Beckley up now, 0 for 1. Oh, and he'll hit one past. Oh, man, and the defensive woes continue as Brown now gets in the fray of things, and he'll commit an error. So four errors now on the Giants. Wow. Two runs will come in, and it's a 3-2 Cardinal lead. So hopefully the uh, Giants can recover from this. I think they can, but they want to get their 16th win. So Shea up now. Beckley in scoring position now too on the... Those, those are going to be unearned runs there. Only one of them is unearned, but I think there should be a couple unearned runs there. So Beckley at scoring position. So Shea is 0 for 2. Want to know the count? Count evens at one. That's a fly ball to right. Brown has it sized up. He'll make the catch. Beckley will not advance. So two outs now for Arndt. One for two. Ball one. Check swing. The umpire says he held up. One and one. Two and one. That's a fly ball to center. Donlin ranges way over and makes the catch. After four and a half, St. Louis three, New York two. So after a couple of unearned runs there, the 
St. Louis will takes a 3-2 lead on the Giants. So Gilbert will lead it off. Now trailing by one, and it's ground ball to third. Third baseman makes a barehanded play on that and throws him out. So Wiltsy up now, one for one. Now hitting 500. And he continues his hot hitting. So the pitcher, Wiltsy, gets his second hit of the day. So one out single. Donlin up now, one for two. So that throw at the plate by Shannon is looming large right now. Because that's the difference in the game. One and one. One and two. Count evens at two. That's going to fly ball to right, and this one is going to go. Ah, uh, it's going to go just foul. That definitely would have been extra bases there. And that's a foul ball just past first base back. And that'll be a single up the middle. Whoa. And a hole will see. So runners on first and second with one down for Brown. See if he can atone for his error. He's 0 for 2. Ball 1. And he does. Single up the middle. But we're not going to send her. So bases are loaded now. And a poor play by Shea. The ball got underneath his glove. Let's credit Brown with a hit though. We'll see moving up to the third. Uh, just station to station. So the base is loaded for Bresnan. He's made a couple errors, so see if he can make amends for that. Strike one. And it's going to be a dribble. This could be two. Over oh, second for one. Back to first. And he turned two. So bases were loaded with one down, and the Giants cannot score as the Cardinals turn two. Score remains 3 to 2 St. Louis. The brain up now, 0 for 1. And he strikes out. It's the third K of the day for Wiltsy. And it'll be a single for Burke. So it'll bring up Brown, who's 0 for 2. Ball 1. And we're going to throw over to first. Runners back. Ooh, that one up there. Here we go. I'm going to keep that under 50%. And it's going to be a pop up down the third base line. And Devlin's unable to get to that one. Oh, he's off for the pitch. And he's going to be safe. So Burke in there with a steal. Oh man, what is that? Wild pitch for Wiltsy, so. Giants are not helping themselves here today with their defense. So full count to Brown. Burke now on third with one out. Run number four will come home on the ground out by Pitcher Brown, he helps his own cause there. It's a 4-2 lead now. So smooth up now, one for three. And he strikes him out. One hit, no errors. After five and a half, St. Louis four, New York two. But the Giants fall behind by another run. So it's a 4-2 lead now. So the winning streak is in danger. Still got four innings to go though, so we're not panicking yet. McGann will lead it off, 0 for two. And he'll pop one up to looks like the third baseman. Burke will make the catch for out number one. Cincinnati has increased the lead over Brooklyn. It's now 7-0 in the sixth. Sam Merte is up now, 0-for-1. And he's going to get under one and pop one up to Burke. And Burke will make another catch. So our Devlin, 1-for-2. And he's going to fly out to right. No and that'll do it. No hits. No errors. We played six. St. Louis four. New York two. All right. 
So we'll head to the seventh. So Shannon won for two. Ground out to the shortstop. So score that a 6 3. Brings up Grady, one for three. And he'll draw a one out walk. Go over to first. Ball one. Trying to get a big lead, bigger lead there. 2 0 the count. 3 0 the count. He's paying more attention to the runner than he is the. Ooh. And. Here we go. So we're going to pitch aggressive now. Strike one in there. They'll pop one up behind the plate. See if Brezian has the play. No, he does not. So full count now. And this one's going to fall in as three fielders get around it, but none of them can catch it. So Grady moves up the second. So 8 nothing Cincinnati lead over Brooklyn now. So runners on first and second with one down. For Shea, who's 0 for 3. Strike 1. Count evens at 1. And this one's going to be a fly ball to center. Donlin will make the catch and throw back to second as Grady does not tag. So two down now for Arndt, who's one for three. Catches the inside corner, strike one. And this will be a fly ball to Donlin, or range to his left this time, and make the catch. St. Louis four, New York two. So the Cardinals unable to add to their lead. The Naps lead the Senators 6-2 now in the 5th. So it'll be Dahlin, Gilbert, and Wiltsy. Wiltsy's been the best hitter today for the Giants. He's 2-2. Two for two. See if Dahlin can get it started. And he... No! Burke makes a great play on the hot shot by Dahlin. So it'll bring up Gilbert who's 0-2. Fly ball to left. Shannon drifts in and makes the catch for out number two. Wiltsy, two for two. Round ball to short, and they finally do get. Nothing across in the bottom of the seventh. After seven, St. Louis four, New York two. Time's running out for the Giants, who trail four to two going into the eighth. Wiltsy appears strong. Okay. Strikes him out. I guess he is strong. Fifth K of the day. And, yeah. So he's just going to eat it on the bare hand. He didn't want to risk throwing it away and getting a run in scoring position. Burke reaches on the infield single. So Brown now 0 for 3. Pitcher. One and one the count. Two and one. And a single for the pitcher. Brown helps his own cause there. So runners on first and second with one down. We get some action going in the bullpen. Our one reliever here. Start warming up Elliot. So smooth up one for two now. Runners on first and second. Want to know the count? Ooh, and Cincinnati's increased the lead to 12 to nothing over Brooklyn now in the sixth. One and one the count. In the hole now. One and two on Smoot. And he's going to hit a fly ball to all right as Brown will make the catch for out number two. So Shannon up now. One for three. As Elliot appears ready in the bullpen almost. One and two the count. Count evens at two. Full count now. And Dallin will make the play over to McGann. No runs. Two hits. No errors. After seven and a half. St. Louis four. New York two. Alright, so the Giants need to get something going here as we time is down to their last six outs. 
Donnelly's been on base twice. He's got a couple, uh, a double and a single. And Brown will make the play. Out number one. Pittsburgh leads Philadelphia 6-0 in the ninth now. So Brown, one for three. And he's going to fly out to center as Smoot moves to his right and makes the catch. So Bresnahan, one for three. And strikes him out. No hits, no errors. We played eight. St. Louis four, New York two. All right, let's check up Wilties. Probably going to be tired. And he <laughs> might be tired. Okay. We'll bring Elliot for relief here. Hooks will get the hook. New York. Claude, Elliot. So the Giants are in danger of losing their first game in extending their danger of, loop of uh, having their 15 game winning streak ended. So Elliot's in there now. Claude Elliot has got a 2 on 1 record with a 5.06 ERA, a couple of saves, 16 innings pitched, 18 hits allowed, a homer, and 7 walks has not struck out a batter in 16 innings pitching. Wow. We can get one here today. One and one to count. One and two. And it's going to be a fly ball to left. Mertes, oh my goodness. And Mertes is not able to get to it. Looked really unsteady out there. Unable to hang on. Drops the ball and Grady will in second. So the error number five. So the Giants had, have had a horrible defense, which has cost them this game. Two for three now for Beckley. See what he can do. Hopefully they can prevent that extra run from scoring. And it's gonna fall in there. Grady will hold that third, so runners at the corners. And we're gonna bring the infield in. Can't afford any more runs to come in now. So Shea 0 for 4. Ball one. Two no the count. A little aggressive here. It's gonna be a bunt. So they try the squeeze, and it's going to be successful. I think it is anyway. Yeah. No, it's not. So that was bizarre. <laughs> it's like they were able to retire the runner, and it's like Grady decided to hold. Looks like he came in to score, but I guess not. Maybe because the infield was in. Let's play it in again. Aren't up now, one for four. Fly ball to right. Let's see if this is gonna be deep enough to get the run in. It's gonna tag. I think we gotta try to throw him out anyway. We don't want another run to score. So let's try to throw him out. Come on, Brown. Here comes the throw. And he's safe. Beckley will hold the second. So it's now a five to two lead. So it's brain up now. Oh man, that's going to bring in that another run. So six to two, they scored two here. So Elliot is not helped. Dribble down the third baseline, and it's going to be out. But more damage done. Two runs, two hits, one error. After eight and a half, St. Louis six, New York two. So the final, we have final. Pittsburgh shuts out Philadelphia, six nothing. So the Giants are in the hole here, not used to this position, but they need to score four to keep this game going. So McGann will lead it off, 0 for 3. Brown back. Brown's only at 103 pitches, so it's probably in good shape. Strike one, swing and a miss. 0 and 2, quickly in the hole from McGann. 1 and 2. And he's going to hit one down the left field line, and that will be foul out of play. Smoot will range over for out number one. So Sam Mertes is 0 for 2 on the day. We're going to pinch hit for Mertes. Bring in Sammy Strang. See if we can get some hitting for New York. Sammy Strang. Strang's hitting 364, 8 hits and 22 at bats. Double, a triple, and a homer. 10 runs batted in, 7 runs scored. See if he can be the spark to get this inning going. 
Strike one, swing and a miss. Count evens at one. And nope, he's gonna pop one up to the shortstop. And Shea will make the catch for out number two. So the Giants are down to their last out. So there. Looks like their winning streak is gonna end here, but it's not over yet, so let's see what Devlin can do. Strike one, foul ball. And behind the plate, pops it up. So now they're down to their last strike. Devlin can continue this inning. And it's gonna, he continues the inning. So it's not, Fat Lady hasn't sung yet. So Dallin's up now. After that two out single by Devlin. Dallin's one for three. Ball one. Count evens at one. Two and one the count. They're popping up behind the plate. Looks like this is going to go back out of play. So again, they're down to the last strike. Two and two the count. And Cincinnati has increased the lead to 14 to nothing over Brooklyn in the seventh. All right, so two and two count on Dolan. And this one will... Ah. <sighs> so he makes the catch. Great running catch by the center fielder there. And the New York Giants 15 game winning streak is history. And St. Louis is able to defeat them 6 to 2. And actually, more like they defeated themselves with their horrible defense. But let's check the box score here. Mr. Brody is none too happy with this. Check out the box score. Got a blank going on here. get out of this last time. Try a keyboard shortcut here. Mm. I know I got out of this before last time, but... Somehow, let's get the escape. There we go. Let's see. The final score. There we go. Polo Browns, St. Louis six, New York two. Buster Brown is the winner. He is now two and four on the season. Books Wilts gets the loss. He is now two and one on the season. Time of the game: two hours, ten minutes. So that is it. I don't know, I think the MVP might be the, uh, MVP for the Cardinals might be the uh, Giants defense as they committed five errors on the day. Take a look at that horrible box score here. Yeah, both of those runs were unearned, but I think another one of those runs might have been unearned for we'll see too, but maybe not. Maybe it was a pass ball, not an error. But it was a drop pop-up, so I think that would that would have I don't know. Maybe there wasn't that wasn't gonna be the third out anyway, or the second out, so I guess it didn't matter. So anyway, so let's see here. So Brown gets the win, two and four. Can pitch a complete game. Nine hits, two runs of both of them earned. Okay, uh, let's see, Wiltsy. Eight innings pitch, nine hits allowed, four runs, three of them earned. Four walks and five strikeouts. 50 innings pitched, 148 looks like he pitched. Elliott comes in, gets two, allows two unearned runs. So, let's see, the offense. 
Beckley three for four with a couple runs scored and an RBI. And Burke, the third baseman, two for four with a run scored. For the Giants, Donlin two for four. Devlin also two for four with an RBI and a run scored. We'll see a two for three. Pitcher. Here are the errors. <laughs> Bresnahan had two. Brown had one. Wow, Brown now has 11 errors to lead the team, I think. Bresnahan, 10. Donlin and Mertes committed their third errors. Brady committed his seventh for the Cardinals. Plus side, Donlin and McGann both made great plays. And Brain and Shea both made poor plays for the Cardinals. Beckley gets the game winning RBI. Game recap here. With that all if you like. I really don't, don't care to win this one. <laughs> play by plays. There you have it. So let's close it out. So the Giants fall into second place now with their loss, 19 and 6. So both the Giants snap their 15 game winning streak and the St. Louis Cardinals ended their 10 game losing streak. Now let's look at their next game here. Um, yeah. Now we're going to start the series with the Cubs. So when we come back next, we'll start a series with the Chicago Cubs. So no more Cardinals as they snap our winning streak. Let's so we'll see if we can start another one. So let's take a look at some of the uh, leaders here Bresnahan and Donnelly, 382 and 381, are third and fourth in the league. Runs batted in, McGann's first, and Dowlin second with 26 and 8, 21. So they've definitely been a good offensive machine so far. McGinty, McGinnity, 153, or Matthewson leads the league with ERA with 1.23. McGinnity, 153. McGinnity has five wins. Elliott has two saves. Strikeouts, we'll see. 23. And team batting 291 for the Giants. Team pitching also very good. 217. Bresnahan is an all star, although offensively he hasn't been that much of an all star. And Mike Donlin, our center fielder, so we got two all stars. MVP, we got Mike Donlin, the MVP. So, alright, so that is it. So, we'll see you in the next game when we take on the Chicago Cubs. So, take care. From Mr. Brody and I, God bless and have a great day. Bye-bye.